Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Dior Air Flash Foundation. So, let's get started. Okay, so a quick little side note. I am not going to be wearing any earrings, necklace, or anything like that because I don't want the foundation to get on my earrings or my necklace. I am going to put my hair back. I am going to try spreading it and then I'm going to also use a brush. So, I'm just going to put my hair back. Now that my hair is back, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I am going to prime both sides of my face because that's what I normally do. So for this first impression, I just wanted, I want to do what I normally do. So. Now I have a lot of redness today. So we're going to see how the foundation covers up my redness. I put this band on so it will cover my hairline. I don't really care about it. I do have some white on my shirt. So we'll see how that goes. I have a scratch down my nose um, from my puppy. She scratched me. So I guess we'll get to see if the foundation covers up that. Okay, I'm just going to read to you um, what the Dior Air Flash says, what it claims to do. It says, a unique diffusion technology. Dior Air Flash combines an ultra-fluid, ultra-fine texture with an ultra-micro <laughs> diffusion system. This innovative technology lets you customize your, cover, your coverage. Yet it's non-occlusive, micro airy feeling that is like a whisper on the skin. Dior Air Flash is suitable for all skin types. I am normal to combination skin. Then it says, a feeling of freshness and lightness, almost like a silky second skin. Dior Air Flash creates a unique feeling of comfort. Instant, instantly, your skin seems wrapped in an even Soft, supple, supple veil of light. Skin stays soft, supple, and comfortable for hours. Well, we're going to see. Boy, that's a lot of uh, claims there. I hope it lives up to that. Now, I got mine in the shade 300, which is medium beige. Now, it says, first let me show you what it looks like. you're supposed to shake it up really good the more you shake it the better it is star loves this so we're gonna see First, I'm going to just spray it on my face and then I'm also going to use a brush spray it on the brush because to be completely honest I probably won't spray it on the face like on a normal day like when I go to use it it's probably not how I would apply it so um, I'm not so much worried about my shirt all right so here we go let's try it first I'm gonna spray it on and then we're gonna take a look and then I'll do the brush so okay now it says let's see if you're supposed to hold it, it says 20 centimeters so, I'm just going to hold it about five inches, five, six inches away from my face. Okay, that definitely gave me a little bit of coverage. I don't know if you can see that. All right, now I'm going to spray it on the brush and we're going to stipple it in. And I haven't decided if I want to use my Morphe E1 brush or my Artiste Oval 8 brush. What do you guys think? Wish you could tell me. I'm going to try this because it's a little bit bigger. And since I'm going to spray it on, so. Okay. 
Well, so far when I sprayed it, I didn't really get any on me. So, and I don't see any anywhere else. So, that's good. I just did a light little spray. It says to do it in a Z pattern, too. So, all right, I'm just going to spray this. Okay. Now, I'm just going to stipple this on my face. And buff it in. I think this color is going to be good for me. Um, it's a little bit of a summer shade. Now, I didn't do my eyebrows because obviously if I was, you know, spraying it on my face, I wasn't going to spray it over my eyebrows, so. Okay, now obviously, I would say that's about not a full layer because I just did a little pump, so, or a little spray. So, I'm going to spray it again. It seems like the closer you hold it to the brush and spray, the more you get. Now, I have also seen some people spray this into like a little like Dixie cup. Just so the product doesn't go everywhere. I guess that's an idea. It's like a real pretty satin finish. Now this brush, it's kind of spreading it out. It's not really giving me a lot of full coverage. The product itself is full coverage, but this brush is just spreading it out in such a thin layer that it's not really covering up as much as I would like it to because it's just so big and fluffy. This is actually a first impression too on this brush because I've never used this brush before. I should have probably used a brush that I have tried before. So my redness is really hard to cover up on certain days. I usually color correct with the YSL green corrector, but since this is a first impression, I figured I would just see how the foundation did. It doesn't look cakey at all. Like I said, it's a satin finish. The color might be a little dark for me. But, it's my summer shade. I do spray tan. So. Alright, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. It's a really pretty finish. I don't want to go overboard with it because obviously, you know, you put concealer, you put bronzer, you put contour on, but I really like it. We'll see how long it lasts. It didn't cover up that scratch on my nose real good, but you know, that's what concealer is for. It did cover up a good bit of my redness. I am a little sunburnt right here. It was really, really nice weather over the weekend here in Pittsburgh, and I was outside, so I did get a little burnt. So that's not necessarily the redness of my skin. That's a little sun sunburn. I really, really like it. This brush is really nice for spreading out the foundation because it's so fluffy and densely packed that it just, you don't really need a lot of product with this brush. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and come back and show you what the finished product looks. But so far, I really like this foundation. Hey guys, I'm back. So I did all of my makeup, my lashes, my brows, 
and this is the finished product of the foundation. I absolutely love it. It's exactly what the box says. It's lightweight, it's airy, it feels so good on the skin. It's literally like a second skin. I absolutely love it and I absolutely recommend it. Now, the price. The price is a little expensive. The price is $62 and it comes in nine shades. And you get, how much is this? This is 2.3 fluid ounces, 70 mils. So it's almost twice the size of a regular foundation. Like my LC foundation is one fluid ounce, 30 mils. And like I said, this is 70 mils. So this is basically over half of this. So I guess it is nice that you're paying a little bit more, but you do get more for your money. So I definitely recommend this. You know, um, it's sad that it is expensive, but it is Dior, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to give it a wear test, check back in, wear it for a few hours today and see how long. Um, but so far, I absolutely love it. Let me zoom you in. It doesn't look cakey on the skin. Look at that glow. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It covered my redness great. I absolutely love it and it's sad to say because it's so expensive. I definitely recommend spreading it on your brush or a beauty blender. You know, that was just what I found that was easy, easier for me. You don't have to do it that way. I sprayed it on my face just like Dior recommends. And to be honest, it did not get everywhere. I had my phone sitting right here beside me. It wasn't all over my phone. It wasn't all over my vanity. It didn't get on my shirt. It didn't make a mess, you know. Um, I absolutely hey guys, love so that's this. it for my video. Thank you so much for watching my first impression. This was the first time I did one of these, and I hope I did a good job. I'll get better at it. So until next time, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos coming your way. Bye, guys. Love you.